How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donahue here again. This time we're going to take a look at 3.6 practice problems. Quantitative info from Pound's chemicals e chemical equations. Anyway, number one. The combustion of propane, C3H8, in the presence of excess oxygen yields CO2 and H2O as given below. So here's the formula for it. When 2.5 moles of O2 are consumed in their reaction, how many moles of CO2 are produced? So what I always do is I circle one thing. So 2.5 moles goes with the O2. So I'm going to circle that in the equation. And it wants to know how many moles of CO2. So I'll put a box around the other thing. So boom. So now I got O2 and CO2. So the way I would do this is I go, all right, well, I know I'm starting with 2.5 moles of O2. And now you're going to look at the balanced chemical equation to figure out your conversion factor. What is the ratio between C or between O2 and CO2? Well, it's a five to three ratio. For every five O2 I use, I can make three CO2. So now my conversion factor is going to have to reflect that. So if I'm trying to cancel out moles of O2, I'm going to put moles of O2 on the bottom. So for every five moles of O2, I can make three moles of CO2. So now I just plug and chug 2.5 times three divided by five gives me 1.5 moles of CO2. And if you take a look, the units cancel out moles of O2 cancels out moles of O2 and you're left with just moles of CO2. So that's it. Number two, the combustion of ammonia in the presence of excess oxygen yields NO2 and H2O shown below. So again, they give us the balanced chemical equation. Now the question is the combustion of 43.9 grams of ammonia produces how many grams of NO2? So now these coefficients are telling you how many moles, but not how many grams. So it's a like, if we're talking about ammonia, I'm talking about this. And if I'm talking about NO2, I'm talking about this, but this is a four to four mole ratio. It's not telling you the gram ratio. So we're going to have to figure that out. So again, we're going to start with 43.9 grams of NH3, but we're going to want to convert that to moles. So that's where the GFM is going to come into play, the gram formula mass. I know one mole of NH3 has a molar mass of 17.04 grams. So now I'm canceling out grams and I'm I got moles of NH3. So now I can look to my balanced chemical equation to get my mole to mole ratio. Now, if I got moles of NH3 up top, I got to put moles of NH3 on the bottom. So for every four moles of NH3, right? Four moles of NH3, I can make four moles of NO2, right? I got that four from right here. So now, you know, grams cancel out, the moles of NH3 cancel out. Now I got moles of NO2 but they want it in terms of grams. So one more step, I got to cancel out moles of NO2. So I put one mole of NO2 on the bottom and then I figure out it's GFM, it's gram form of mass to be 46.01 grams. Moles of NO2 cancel out and I'm left with grams of NO2. So now I just plug and chug and when I round to correct sig figs, I get 119 grams of NO2. Next question. Calcium carbide reacts with water to produce acetylene shown by the balanced chemical reaction below. So there it is. Balanced force already. Awesome. The reaction of 57.4 grams of calcium carbide requires how many grams of H2O? All right. So let me circle one. They go together. It's talking about that thing. H2O. Talking about this thing. All right. And they're giving us grams and they're asking for grams. So we're going to have to go grams to moles and then from there moles to moles of one thing to the other thing and then moles to grams so that's kind of my uh roadmap if you will so i start with 57.4 grams of calcium carbide if i want to convert that to moles i need the gfm i know one mole of calcium carbide has a molar mass of well let me look it up calcium each calcium is like 40 point something and I got 
add them together, I get 64.10 as my molar mass. So my grams of calcium carbide cancel out. Now I got moles of calcium carbide. So let me set up the next conversion factor. Now I got to go moles to moles. And this is going to be from the equation. So if I got moles of calcium carbide on top, I need it on the bottom to cancel it out. So one mole of calcium carbide, how to get one, because it has a, a one there, needs two moles of H2O to react. Where do I get that two from? From the coefficient in the balanced chemical equation. So now moles of calcium carbide cancel out. I got moles of H2O. One last step, convert moles to grams. So I got one mole of H2O is 18.02 grams of H2O. So now I got it all set up and I'm left with the units that I want. So now I pick up my calculator and I plug and chug and I round to correct number of sig figs and I get 32.3 grams. Cool. Next question. Nitrogen and hydrogen undergo a combination reaction to yield ammonia shown in the balanced chemical equation below. There it is. Balanced. Awesome. How many grams of N2 is required to react with three grams of H2? So again, I'm going to circle one thing and I'm going to put a box around the other stuff. I know the three grams goes with H2 because of the word of. It's three grams of H2. So those are the two things that I'm interested in. Again, they give me grams and, or they give me grams and they want grams. So I got to go grams to moles using that GFM and then moles to moles of the other thing using my balanced chemical equation and then moles to grams using the GFM again. So let's start. I got 3.0 grams of H2. So now I got to convert that to moles. So I know one mole of H2. Let me figure out its molecular mass. It's 2.02 grams. Grams of H2 cancels out. I got moles of H2, so now I go to my balanced chemical equation, and I see that it, for every 1N2, I need to react with 3H2. So that's going to be how I figured this conversion factor out. I got to put 3 moles of H2 in the denominator, and then 1 mole of N2 in the numerator, so that the moles of H2 cancel out. Last step, got to get grams. So I know that 1 mole of N2 is 28 point zero two grams of n2 moles of n2 cancel out now i just pick up my calculator i plug and chug around to correct sig figs and i get 14 grams yeah i think that might be it for that practice hope you found it helpful okay bye